My name is Neda Ardani. I have been a resident of Laguna Woods for three years now. My husband, who is retiring soon, and I were looking for an area more peaceful and less hectic after living and working in Los Angeles for many years. And then we have found, found that here in Laguna Woods. We live at 19 Via Castilla, Unit C. I have two bachelor degree one in biomedical engineering and the other in English translation. I have worked for 10 years as a technical and sales engineer in the medical field and five years in pharmaceutical. At present, I'm working as a licensed real estate agent. I joined art classes, swimming, gym, community service, golf, and etc. I would like to serve as a director in United Mutual, I have served in many leadership positions in the past. I believe I can support the activities of the board because of my diverse experience. I'm interested in helping con control cost to the resident members. My goal, minimize assessment and reduce the yearly increase. As a realtor, I see the value of co-op and resale are going down every day because of the certain financial requirement. I feel the board need to consider revising some of the requirements. It is very difficult for many potential buyers and sellers to do transaction here and depress the value of the co-ops. Our residents have hard time to get permit for any alteration. Speed up the alteration process, it should be another agenda for the board. Quality of replacement equipment is very important. The board needs to look carefully at it. Low quality equipment is not returning our investment. As a team, we should always look to find a secure way to invest United Mutual money to receive maximum return on the investment. I prefer to see that assessment spent on improving the structures such as sewer lines, electrical and water lines. The biggest challenge for the board members should be used their due diligence to minimize waste and proper use of members' assessment in managing and maintaining the operation of VMS with critical emphasis on efficiency. As a real estate agent, I have always been in touch with people, listening to, it, to their needs and trying to help them accomplish their goals. I would like to say I am a team player, and if I elected to this board, I would look forward to work with all of you on issues that arise, and to be a voice for the residents, and also a voice from this board back to the residents. I would do my best to preserve this beautiful and wonderful place to live that we have here in Laguna Woods. Thank you so much. Okay, hi, I'm Maggie Blackwell. I've been in the village 15 years. I was a secondary teacher in LA Unified two years. I had my BA in English and secondary credential from USC. I had my Master of Education from Cal State Dominguez Hills. And then I was a secondary teacher for LA Unified 22 years and then second secondary teacher Hermosa Beach 20 years. I did teacher contract negotiations for 12 years. I went to law school at night, took first place in contracts, was an editor of Law Review, and I was on the dean's list and won the trustee scholarship. 
I became a criminal defense attorney and worked with the alternate defense counsel private firm for four years. Then the LA County took over our firm and I worked there for 10 more years. I moved here to play golf and I belonged to the Women's 18-Hole Golf Club. I was on the board nine years and was president twice. I played duplicate bridge, not real well. I've been on the United Board Director three years. I've been United Secretary three years. I've been Landscape Chair three years. I've been two and a half years Communications Chair, two and a half years Governing Documents Chair, United Breeze Editor three years. I report on this day. As a director, I have only one vote. Every director has only one vote. So you have to work cooperatively and you have to communicate with each other and persuade each other in order to handle our issues. Every action taken has to be voted on and the slamming on the table and yelling at the chair and so on are activities which are a detriment to effective meetings. So directors need to be a professional. They need to be informed. They need to study their packets. They need to be prepared to make serious decisions. And no, nobody has any business yelling or maligning any other director. We have in United, we have our powers of the board are accepting and rejecting applications for membership, establishing monthly assessments, fees, and charges. Uh, disciplining members and terminating membership and occupancy rights, and all of these rules, regulations, and policies, managing the common area, sub lessees, occupants, guests, invitees, use of a unit, pets, conduct, leasing and rental of units, architectural standards, discipline, and monetary or other penalties for violation of the governing documents, procedures for assessment disputes, and parking of vehicles, of course. So those are our official duties according to the bylaws. We have, in United, we have a VMS organization to do our managing for us here in the village. They are the management of the village. They hire a CEO and COO who do the managing of the village. The directors are to occupy themselves with these things here and with levels of service for the departments. So we have eight departments and we have 56 di divisions. They are doing good work for us and we can always bring suggestions to them. We need to listen to what they say and listen to experts and urge them to do more things. We watch our money. Our most important projects are all right here on the reserves list. My goals are proceed with care, reasonable procedures and fair rules to protect the majority, financial stability with adequate reasonable assessments, preserve our beautiful forest home, provide better communication, promote neighborliness, and have professional behavior in meetings. I'm for the silent majority and behavior in meetings. I hope you will vote for me. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Brian Gilmore. I've been living in Laguna Woods, United Mutual, for three plus years. I'm a candidate for the board position. I retired after 21 years at John Deere, where I led collaborative teams focused on advanced products and services, manage multi-million dollar projects, and organizational change. Previous to John Deere, I was a tenured full professor of mechanical engineering at Penn State, where I built and led research programs in cl collaboration with other disciplines. I have a PhD in mechanical engineering from Purdue University, several patents, and journal papers. I came to Laguna Woods with my beautiful wife, Hong Ju Hee, and 
we came for the golf, the pools, the amenities, and plus the sizable Korean American population. Bang Gap Samita. Our challenge, as I see it, in United Mutual is to contain assessment cost and improve the value of the amenities, services, and manners. And this is in recognition that the manners and the infrastructure is getting older. It's 50 years old. It's a difficult problem. To address some of this, I propose to use a sharper pencil to reduce cost. We could insert technology into operations where to improve effectiveness, use reliability analysis like a Weibull analysis on major remediation projects to understand the, exist, the risk that we face might determine whether we accelerate or decelerate a program. And we could take a sharper pencil on services, I mean purchases. A dishwasher, for example, in the 2019 business plan, the so-called Green Book, has it cost out at $649, $649. Home Depot, you could buy it for $500. This is an opportunity to reduce assessments by almost $4 a manner. Maybe we can achieve this through developing a strategic partnership with the supplier. We did this all the time at John Deere. On the value side, we need to look, we need to dig deeper into the details to improve the value. We need to find out why people look but do not buy in detail. We need to encourage investment by individuals in, in the manner in which they live. That will increase the values. In more programs, that are service-oriented programs like the Handyman program. It was a good program, didn't continue, but the pro problem was not with the program itself, it was with the business model. When we develop a program or service like that, we should thoroughly consider the business model. That was a sus subscription-based model, and maybe we want a Uber-based model. As far as a vision, what I would like to change to enhance life here would be a world-class customer service from phone call to fulfillment of resident need. And we could do this through mapping the workflow, creating a stakeholder team of residents, VMS employees, managers, board members to create the buy-in, identify gaps, and brainstorm on the solutions. This, these are hard problems, especially our challenge. But I'm a problem solver, leader, and inventor. I can apply deep expertise to identify and close gaps in business operations and scale the solution to make it work for the larger organization and for individuals. I've solved just about any sort of business problem there is, organizational, development, um, product service, technology development, HR problems even. And I've collaborated with other disciplines outside of engineering as well as engineering. Um, I have a strong history of service and I, I would like to be able to continue that and serve you in United Mutual. Thank you for your time. Good morning, United Residents. Uh, my name is Gary Morrison, and I'm running for my second term as a United Director. Uh, I'm a five-year resident of Laguna Woods. I've been on the board for three years. I've been two years as treasurer. I've served on the United Maintenance and Construction Committee, the United Architectural Committee, the United Governing Documents Committee, Disaster Prepared Task Force, the Investment Policy Task Force, Reserve Study Task Force, GRF Finance Committee, GRF Maintenance and Construction Committee. My educational qualifications, I have an MBA in Accounting and Economics at The Ohio State University, BSBA Accounting and Economics at Miami University of Ohio. My prior board experiences, I've been on the Board of Directors of Orange County's Employee Association, uh, which represented 18,000 employees for eight years. Um, I've been 20 years on an HOA board for Foothill, Foothill Townhome Condominium. My prior work experience, 
I worked 18 years for the County of Orange as a tax appraiser assessor and uh, basically uh, what I did were boats and planes. I was the assistant athletic director at Ohio State University presiding over all business functions dealing with all sports. At Ohio State, and this was back in the 90s, I worked with a $60 million budget. So that was a hefty amount of money even at that time. Controller over four, before that I was controller over four plants in Ohio owned by Packaging Corporation of America which was corrugated container um, manufacturer which was based in Chicago. Uh, I was uh, before that university auditor at Ohio State University and I was audit manager at United Communications Sprint. Um, I want to talk about the things that I feel that we need to address in United. And as you all are aware, our buildings are getting older and they're a minimum of 50 years old. And we're having a lot of supply line or water and sewage problems. All the valves in all the sinks, all the toilets uh, need to be replaced. We need electrical transformers. Um, for example, we cannot in a whole building have instant hot water because we cannot, uh, we don't have the ability to put out that much of electricity. We have dry rot problems in the buildings. We have uh, drainage problems as far as the roofs as I sat this spring watching the rains come down and the water running over the roof and hitting down along the foundation, um, I could see that we were going to be having big problems if we don't address this issue. Um, I want to address reserves because I've heard people think that we, our reserves are too high. We had a reserve study that we just completed and we're low about $4,000 per manor. If we have some major catastrophe, earthquake, fires, whatever, uh, could cost us all of our reserves and we maybe would have to do supplementals. I for one would rather do a monthly and build those reserves so that I don't have to come up with a lot of money for a supplemental. Um, As far as guarantors, I'm hearing a lot about guarantors. That has now been uh, put back into um, our agreements and however guarantors are only allowed if you're, uh, the guarantor lives in the state of California. And that is because we found that guarantors out of state were, we were getting stuck with large sums of money um, and therefore um, we found that legally we could do nothing about it unless it was in the state of California. So that's why that reads that way. Um, I just want to address negativity to staff and to other board members. We have a few board members who have negatively affect staff and that needs to stop. We've had some harassment suits filed by staff um, because board members have addressed them inappropriately. I am not behind that and I will fight that all the way. Um, we need to um, we need to stop harassing each other and staff. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. My name is Cynthia Rupert, and I'm a happy and grateful Laguna Woods Village resident of 14 years. A little bit about myself. I moved to Laguna Niguel in 1998 with my two children. Uh, unfortunately, in 2005, or fortunately, I moved to Laguna Woods Village to take care of my mother. I'm an active resident 
very frequently use the uh, facilities and the many amenities that are available to us. Now to discuss education and business experience. I attended the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill where I pursued a pre-med curriculum and then UNC or University of North Carolina at Charlotte a BS in accounting with a minor in computer science. I'm a member of the National Honor Society. Before I retired, I worked in several positions, starting with Texas Instruments, where I was a uh, software trainer, then a Comtech, which was a computer company, where I started as a programmer and ended up as the software manager for four years. I went to, uh, on to teach some classes at Central Piedmont Community College, basically beginning computer classes. And then I took a job with Carolina Brick Homes, which is in Charlotte, North Carolina. I was a controller and I was responsible for three offices and the focus was on cost management. My last position was here in Newport Beach with MFR Financial Resources. I was the controller answering to the president and the CEO. I sat on the investment committee which handled requests for financing and funding and I was also a due diligence coordinator. In my many years living in the village I've established a history. I've met many wonderful people, I've shared stories, I've listened to members concerns and I've learned the rules and regulations of United Mutual which gives me some insight into changes and possible improvements that might benefit all members. This experience will make a valuable board member and I feel that that is me. My focus will be on safety first, from tighter security at the gate with vagrants all the way to sidewalk lighting. As far as assessment increases, I believe they need to be reviewed and controlled. The infrastructure, we need to start thinking about the fact that many of these buildings are over 50 years old and our clubhouses are going to need repair and renovation. Always keeping members informed of new regulations and procedures and bringing forward member concerns. So as you see, my many years of experience living here in United Mutual has helped me understand what living in a co-op is like. To better understand the difference between a co-op and a condo or a homeowners association. And I look forward to spending my remaining here, years here in the village living, listening, learning. And I want to further help all residents appreciate the gift that this community is. Thank you. Uh, Laguna Woods residents, my name is Andre Torn. I live in 389Q Avenida Castillo. I received a bachelor's degree in mathematics, a master's degree in statistics, and a study MBA in management. And I also took many courses in geology, biology, geography, photography, video journalism, artificial intelligence, and project management, uh, just for fun. And they helped me develop a great career. I uh, eventually get to the IT director level and work for many senior management uh, program manager positions and uh, help out uh, uh, a lot of uh, companies uh, reducing their cost and improve their uh, productivity. Over the past three years, I've served on the United Board. I have met and spoken to many of you, uh, spoke for you. Uh, about the issues that you, of your concern and always watch the your money uh, assessment as my own money. I also want to thank the, uh, our staff. They work very hard. It's just the board sometimes leading them the wrong direction. If the board doesn't ask for change, give the uh, lead, uh, money they need to make the change, support them when they run into difficulties, they cannot do it. Once the board makes the changes, the staff can then change. Here are some of the examples that I think the board need to lead the change. Give them the support and provide the budget to make your life better. Some board candidates say, we must increase your assessment or your service will suffer. Well, the staff 
increased assessment accordingly. I say, let's find out where we can reduce cost, improve the service, and do more with same or less assessment. Cost reduction is not something a candidate with no experience can realize. When they don't have the experience to find a where to cut costs and produce the same result, the only thing they can see is to increase your assessment. Please vote for those who know how to cut costs and improve services. These are the approaches I have and will take to reduce cost. When you, there is constant argument among the board members who do board members serve? Some board members believe they serve the cooperation. I believe the board serves the residents. I've asked the question over and over. I can only hear residents speaking to me. I never hear the word from the cooperation, quote unquote. What did the cooperation say to you that I can't hear? I also ask, you believe you serve the cooperation, not the residents. Come election time, how can you convince the residents to vote for you when you don't serve them? Members are the foundation of this cooperation. Without members, this cooperation doesn't exist. Board members must focus on members, so please vote for candidates who speak to you and speak for you. A typical, uh, uh, our 2020 budget, the first proposal was to increase assessment by $47. Two board members supported her completely. One of them is on the candidates today. Constantly stating, we have to increase your assessment or your service will suffer. If you believe you want to pay more assessment, if you believe there's no improvement we can make, vote for her. If you believe you want cost reduction and improvement so we can reduce assessment or provide better services, vote for other candidates we, we need board members that watch every penny of your assessment. A typical waste of money is the Roundup test. Many uh, other mutuals saw the writing on the wall and they banned Roundup, no question asked. United believe it's necessary, you eat the same amount uh, of poison in your cereal anyway. Why ban it? Well, uh, under pressure, the board ordered a test. Providing the cost was overwhelming. Uh, but one board member pointed out the cost calculation was overinflated. For the second test, this time the cost is much lower and acceptable. This kind of wasting your assessment, wasting staff's time, we need to eliminate. And also, board members should vote based on facts and evidence not rumors and uh, uh, fears. For example, recently we reactivated the guarantor option for manner purchasing. The guarantor option was eliminated because some board members think that it creates ghetto in our neighborhood. So uh, it's necessary that we, based on facts and uh, uh, evidence, not rumors. Thank you very much. I hope you vote for candidates whether it's me or not, but those candidates that listen to you, help you with your, your uh, watch your money. Thank you. Have a nice day. Beside my work experience, which I will mention later on, I have been involved with many volunteer projects and honored with many achievements and awards such as the key to the city of Huntington Beach, VIP and probation from the Orange County Probation Department, Citizen of the Year from the California Junior Women's Club, 22,000 members, the Disneyland Community Service Award. While living in Saudi Arabia, I was a hug lady for our troops during the first Gulf War. I served on the Recreation and Parks Commission for the city of Huntington Beach for three years. Some of you may recognize me as I was a board director during 2016 through 2018. I left the board for personal reasons. I find there are many major issues that have not been completely resolved. Many of them involve maintenance of our manners, landscape issues, and rising costs. I have extensive experience in the governance of our community. I was appointed to the United Board in 2016 and elected second vice president 2017, first vice president 2018. 
I have been an advisor three years and committee member two years to the Maintenance and Construction Committee, including vice chairman. Two years as an advisor and two years committee member of the GRF Activities Committee. I was responsible for repair and maintenance of a resort I owned. Having been a real estate agent and was a relocation director for corporate transferees, all of which required me to assist in the maintenance and repair issues so that their properties were marketable condition. As chairman of the United Architectural Standard and Controls Committee, we streamlined the approval process for alterations. It was taking at least two to three years for approval of certain variances. Each alteration request required staff reports, resident appearance before committee and ultimately board approval. To address this labor intensive process, we established standard policies for split bathrooms, windows, and doors, to name a few. Now, as long as a resident's proposed modification meets the established standards, your required application is processed and you are good to go. This is, have, has saved staff and our residents time and money. One of our major issues we face in our community is over 50 years old with many infrastructure problems that need to be replaced or updated. During my tenure on the United Maintenance Construction Committee, we laid out plans to address these issues, identifying how much could be accomplished each year with funds that we have available. We have to live within our budgets. I intend to see how we can stretch our funds to speed up infrastructure repairs.